Hello, my name is Ralph Freaks. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and a host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today Show. Each and every week, I get tons of emails. Some are just comments, some are thankfulness for my show, and then some are just some little stories. This one was from Lisa in uh, the UK. She had sent me an email with this little story. I want to share this with you because maybe it'll help you. But uh, she titled it, The Healing Strength of Gratitude. <clears throat> Folks, she writes, Last year I felt, felt compelled to bake brownies for a complete stranger to say thank you and thank you so much. I had to call 911 because I found my partner unconscious on the floor. Within minutes, a police car and an ambulance arrived, filled with first responders who whisked my partner away to the nearest hospital, where he received the critical care that he needed so much. A week later, still marveling at the kindness of these strangers, I wrote thank you notes to those who, uh, those helpful first responders and baked for them. It was a small gesture with a big impact. When I dropped off, still warming brownies at the police and fire stations, thank, they thanked me for delivering gifts, thanking me. All I've done was bake for them and they had saved my partner's life. I drove away feeling light and happy, partly because I had done a good deed, but mostly because I was amazed that there are selfless people who do life-saving work and expect nothing in return. Later, I realized that my natural high might have been more than it seemed. Research has shown that sharing thoughts of gratitude and performing acts of kindness can boost your mood and have other positive effects on your health. We know from studies that gratitude really does have an impact on happiness, that it increases life satisfaction. A uh, psychological professor named Wild Bald Rook at the University of Zurich who researches the effects of character strengths such as gratitude and humor wrote, it's among the top five predictors of happiness when you do a kind thing for a person and show gratitude. You can make positive life changes by embracing gratitude. And here's how he writes, a good for you sentiment. When you're feeling thankful for things you've received or something that happened, that's gratitude. It's impossible to feel, uh, feel it in a vacuum. Others are always responsible, whether they loved ones, strangers, or higher power. Gratitude is how you relate to others when you see yourself in connection with things larger than yourself, the professor writes. Nowadays, too many people don't stop to appreciate what they have, much less express gratitude. Our instant gratification lifestyle may be to blame for these actions. With commercial and social media, everything is speeding the younger generation to make them feel they are the center of the universe, says Tomiko Sabaleth, founder of the London-based adequate consulting firm Minding Manners. If it's all about them, why thank others? Why not thank others? Studies have shown that people who express gratitude increase their happiness levels, lower their blood pressure levels, get better quality uh, sleep, improve their relationships, have a positive impact on their depression levels, and are less affected by pain. People who have higher levels of gratitude also report sleeping better. The, and gratitude positive effects are long lasting. Canadian researchers found that people who wrote letters of thanks or performed good deeds for a mere six week period were able to improve their mental health, decrease their bodily pain, feel more energetic and accomplish more daily tasks for up to six months. Because gratitude is a relatively new field of study, researchers are trying to identify its cause and effect, relationships with health benefits. Folks, we know people who have higher levels of gratitude also report sleeping better, but we don't really know why, says Alex Wood, professor of psychology and director of the Behavioral Science Center at the University of Sterling. Is gratitude leading to better sleep? Is sleep leading to more gratitude? Or could it be some third variable that leads to both gratitude and improved sleep? Gratitude can benefit people during all stages of life, 
Swedish researchers have found that people aged 77 to 90 who are thankful for what they have are less likely, likely to dwell on the chance that they may uh, grow frail. When they can't change something, they choose gratitude and focus on what's good. Walking on their uh, legs, still being alive and living by themselves is hard, but they make a good situation. It says study author Helena Herder, a researcher at the University of Gothenburg. Maybe it's some kind of confidence that you can cope with this and focus on the right things in life. Making someone else's day is really important, and I want you folks all to practice that. What about gratitude recipients? Research has confirmed that people who receive messages of thanks or acts of kindness experience positive emotions when they're singled out. Those are happy surprises. You're not expecting coffee or for someone to hold the door open for you, says Joanne Zhang, Associate Professor of Psychology at the Baylor University in Texas. You're more likely to feel grateful if you receive help that's unexpected. It's different if a doorman holds the door than a stranger because that's not their job, my friends. When someone is the recipient of unexpected kindness or gratitude, he's more likely to return the favor or pass the kindness on to you. One study found that when someone is thanked, it uh, more than doubles their chances of being helpful again, probably because they enjoy feeling sociably or socially valued. Sablith likes the reaction she gets when she rewards a stranger who holds the door open for her at Starbucks with his rightful place in line in the front of her. The look on his face is shock. Total shock, says Sablith. He'll be nicer to the cashier, the next person he sees at work. There's a trickle-down effect with gratitude. There's a trickle-down effect with kindness. The give and take of gratitude can... Also, deepen relationship studies show that when your partner regularly expresses gratitude, making you feel appreciated, you're more likely to return appreciative, grateful feelings and stay committed to each other. One found that sharing the gratitude with a partner makes you feel more responsible for his or her well-being and more satisfied with the relationship as the days progress and the years go on. You feel closer to the person and they feel closer to you. That creates an upward spiral. And gratitude, a trickle-down spiral. Gratitude 101 is very important. If you aren't particularly grateful, you can learn to be people who are instructed to keep gratitude journals in which they write down three positive things that had happened to them each and every day, cultivate gratitude over time, within time, as time goes on. Initially, people will have some difficulty remembering what good things have happened says Rook. But if every evening you write them down, you experience those things more intensely. Your brain gradually gets trained into a more appreciative mode, so the sense of gratefulness increases. Gratitude training came to my aid during the dark times, those times when my partner was down and out. Even when our training is over, people still continue with this exercise because they find it so rewarding. People enjoy looking up Uh, what happened a few weeks ago. It becomes a book of nice memories and a book in a chapter of, or a chapter in the book of your life. Samuel Costa began a gratitude journal three years ago when he was diagnosed with lymphoma a year later. It helped him carry through his illness. Gratitude training certainly came to my aid during the dark times, Costa says. Did I get cancer? Yep. Did I also get uh, to hang out with my family more, gain a greater appreciation for life and a few cool scars? Yup. And that's the part I focus on. Folks, call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back and be thankful for everything. I'm thankful for you watching this video right now. Be good to yourselves, my friends, and be good to others. I want to apologize for my cats in the background. They wanted to get a selfie in. May God bless you. May God bless America. A total stranger appreciates your smiles. A total stranger appreciates your gratitude. I appreciate your gratitude. Take good care of yourselves. Have a great day and may God bless you. God loves you.